Hello, everybody. So this is nice. We've got a Facebook Live with the lovely Catherine Stark. Hello. 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 How, we haven't caught up since I've got back from holiday. No, we haven't. Have I've you? been very busy. You've you, had a nice time. We were time talking about this. Having some holiday? I think it, it was a nice time, <laughs> far from getting a bit ill. But um, no, yeah, you've, been, you've been very busy. I've been very busy. I've been very busy. But it's all good fun. But you've Lots got of a variety. Face. Can I say, I've never... <laughs> Literally, never seen Catherine at Hoshanda without a big smile on her face. So, uh, I know you had a show at 12, was it 12 today? 12 o'clock, some was free forming, free forming. Yes. That's what we're going to be focusing on now, so I'm going to get to have a play, so I can't wait. Uh, and we've got a show together at 4. We have. Amazing. For anyone that didn't see the earlier show mm -hmm. as well, I kind of started something that we're going to finish at the oh. 4 o'clock. And we also made a Nordic gnome. Uh, I saw that Nordic gnome looked amazing. <laughs> I mean, it, you can watch it looks that. It's snow has dried a little bit more. Is that, actually, okay. yeah, yeah, it's covered in snow. He's been having a snowball you fight. You can watch that Nordic uh, gnome how he was done and uh, Catherine's previous hour at twelve by the rewind option at hochanda.com. And what you got coming up at six? At six o'clock, we have another one day special, and it's Anna Griffin again. Another <laughs> one, yes. So we're expecting very, but very busy hours. Because that Anna Griffin show was immensely popular. We've we've done two one day specials, and they have just the stock has just literally oh. flown out. Because we've not been able to keep up. As names go, I mean, she is one of the heavy She's hitters huge. in the craft world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And it is a festive one tonight. We've got to point well, that out as well. Twelve days of Christmas. It is. What are we going to be doing this time? Right, hour? we are going to make a snow bear. Oh, I love snow so bears. So I'm calling it snow bear because oh. originally I was going to say we're going to do a polar bear, but yeah. just in case it doesn't look quite polar bearish Be enough. A snow bear. It's a snow bear. Because it's a whimsical one. Little fact for you. Did you know that all polar bears are left-handed? <laughs> no. Or left-pawed, I should say. Do you know? Fact. <laughs> no. and Is that it, true? It's truth, truth. I never and know what you are telling no, no, the truth. No, no, truth. And do you know how polar bears hide uh, when they're creeping up on something? Where they hide how, how they, they hide. how they hide. What would they do? What's the one distinguishing oh, feature hear, that I you want to hide? I feel a joke coming on No, here. no, it's, it's truth. Well, they bury themselves. I don't no, know. What they do literally they do? cover their nose. Oh, the so they can't so they right. literally sneak up on you. Uh, it's the same thing I do with my nose if I want to creep up on someone. <laughs> uh, okay, come on. How do we start? Then? Right. Well, we've both got some white clay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Should I be I've teasing just taken. Yes. Yeah, so let's give it a bit of a stretch. We'll okay. get the moisture going there in we it. Go. So when you take it straight from the pack, you see, Yannis, uh -huh. it can be a little bit fibrous. So just so give it a little bit of a play with. Give it a little bit of a stretch. Okay. Now we're going to split this into four. Okay. okay. Yeah. Fairly even. Doesn't mm -hmm. have to be totally accurate. It's okay. just it's just to help gauge how much clay you're going to use. So I tend just to roll it out a little bit and then cut into four fairly even pieces. Okay. Now if you're doing this at home, best idea is to keep your clay in a plastic bag so it's not drying out. But we hopefully we're not going to be too long before we okay. we're grabbing some more clay that we need. Right. Done. First of all, we're going to take one piece of clay. Okay. And the other three can stay at the side. What's this piece going to be? This is going to be his tummy. Okay, I want to go on bigger bits. Okay. So, we're going to work with the tummy first. So, stretch yeah. again, just to make sure it's nice and malleable. And what we're going to do, Yanis, and I know you can do this, because I've yeah. seen you do it earlier, you're going to roll a ball. Okay, we can do that. Just can a nice smooth ball, that's all we're going to do. Now, if you've got some air dry clay at home uh, at the moment, you can craft along with us, or yes, if not, you could. Uh, obviously it's going to be live, so, uh, but you can re-watch it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now then, We've got a ball, but is, is, we're not making a snowman, so we're not no. going to keep it round, we're going to okay. shape it. Yep. So what we're going to do is put our hands together in a V shape, mm -hmm. so they're touching at the bottom All right. and open at the top, yeah. with the clay in there. Yeah. And you want to put a little bit of pressure onto the clay as you go backwards and forwards with ah. your hands. So keep them as a V shape, and what you should find is you'll form... Get a little point. You'll form a pair. We don't want it too pointy, although we can, we can sh keep shaping this. Okay. We're going to give it a bit more shape. Okay. How's that? Okay, that's that's good. Another thing we can do. Say it like you it mean it, Catherine. No, that's yeah. good. Okay. That's good. <laughs> that's good. That's right. We can also go with one finger. Oh, just a little one finger. Kind of just off centre mm -hmm. and roll. You don't have to roll right the way around. Just shape it a little bit more. That gives us kind of a curved. I want our polar bear to look like he's had his dinner. Oh yeah. So he's going to be our a little bit tubbier bear. at the bottom. Yes. I so like there that. we are. Okay. So if I turn that, I'll just show that to the. Uh, Oh, no. To the screen, so we can I've see. I've pressed too much. <laughs> Your <laughs> bear hasn't bear eaten enough. Me. My best. <laughs> okay, carry on. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll get back up to you. Well, we we haven't got far, so you better okay. catch up really easily. When you do get that shape, man, if you prefer to keep it just as a, a pear shape, you can do. If you don't okay. want to shape it too much, I am going to press it down a little bit onto the mat just to give it that flatter bottom, so it's not going to roll around. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So the trick is not to add too much pressure, but enough to shape. Right. Okay. So that's it. That's the body done. That's I'm it. That's all we need to do. Oh, by the way, if you see me glancing down, it's only because I wanted to see. Uh, oh, here we go. Rachanda, I want to see our, our feed. So see comments. Seven comments. Let's see what people are saying, <laughs> shall we? Oh, oh you've got uh, Anna Charlie is oh, ready. Oh, hello. Susanna, hello to you. Hi, Waiting Susanna. patiently. Hello, Susanna. <laughs> uh, you've got Pat saying good uh, afternoon to everyone. Laura's saying hi, Pat. Uh, Pat and Laura chatting, and you've also got Rosemary Scales who's joining oh, us saying hello hi, to everyone. Oh, hi, Rosemary. There we go. Great. Okay. Hello, everybody. Oh, that's nice. We've got some people watching. Okay. Right. Okay. So that's our body done. Yep. So we're just going to leave that sat there, and we're going to pick up another piece of clay. Right. Okay. And okay. this time we're going to form the legs. Right. Now the strange thing is we're going to make two legs from one piece Ooh. and then split it. Okay, okay, so it's a little bit strange. So give the piece of clay a stretch again just to make sure that that moisture... The crafty tees. Yes. What can happen is, especially in studio conditions, and you may notice this when I'm crafting on TV, yeah. it's very, very drying because we have air conditioning, we have yeah, heat, yeah. Uh, so it can be very drying, so the surface dries very, very quickly. Now what I'm going to do is start with a ball again. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can put that onto your mat when you've got a nice smooth ball. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to roll this with the flat of our yeah. hand. Okay. This is going to be one leg with two feet, one either end. Okay, and then one we're going to split it two down. Feet. Okay. Now, because it's a polar bear, I'm not going to give him long, thin legs. I want to be quite chunky with big feet. Because okay. it makes him look cute. All right. So if you look at the size of the body you've made and try and gauge sort of the thickness that you want of the legs. Okay, so I think I'm going to, you can always stretch them out a little bit more, but it's not so easy to make them mm -hmm. thicker if you make them too thin in the first place. So you want to try and get it as even as you can. Okay. Don't worry if you've got a little, we're going to shape the foot on the end, so if it's a little bit uh, uneven there, don't worry mm -hmm. about it. That's it, that's perfect. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do now, Yanis, we're yeah. going to pick up that piece. Right. And on one end, we're yeah. just going to pinch slightly with a finger and thumb. Okay. okay, so it's not completely flat. I've just given it a little bit of a an indentation yeah, each okay. side. Got it. And then we're going to push that upwards. Ah, uh, okay. I can see foot. you're picking up lots of yellow off your mat. Yeah, that's I okay. think somebody's had brush holes on it. Right, now then, we can shape. That's one foot, so we can shape that a little bit with a finger and thumb. So just smooth it out. If you want to make a bit of an ankle, you can. But do you know what? It's a whimsical bear. We don't have to spend too much time shaping it. I mm -hmm. want mine with quite big flat feet, look, like that. Because the polar bears have very big feet. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Or it's a, it's a snow bear, isn't it? It's, it's a snow bear. bear. Yeah. Just have we, in have case. We, named our snow we bear? haven't. We need names, don't we? We'll mm. have to let everybody let us know what names we should have for mm -hmm. our bears. Right, now we've done one. Mm. You can do exactly the same thing on the other end. Oh, okay. So I have the foot facing the same way. So again, pinch, push up, and then shape a little bit. So ideally, you don't want to make everything too flat, but, mm. you know, there's no wrongs and rights, it's whatever you're happy with. Okay. So, my polar bear's got quite chunky legs. Lovely. <laughs> okay, right, what, yeah. I, what I normally do now is I do normally bend, so it's like a letter N, mm -hmm. and then cut in the middle, because that would give us the shape to the top of the legs but at this point we may think that the legs look a little bit too long and we might want to shorten them actually i think yours are a really good size as well oh, thank you i actually think yours are going to be okay thank i'm going you. to shorten mine a little bit okay. so what i'm going to do is just take a little bit off on the angle of the top of each leg and what i would suggest is sitting the clay underneath the bottom of the body mm -hmm. so that you've really got a nice bite with the clay. It sticks to itself, you don't need any glue. So you you do need to sort of quite firmly press it together to make sure it's holding. Okay. Okay, so we can position the legs. So if I turn mine round you can see now we've got the body and the two legs. Okay. Happy? Lovely. Good. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to do the arms. So another ball of clay, and I, I can't tell you're not going to use the whole of this. There will be some spare. But cutting it into four yeah. does help you gauge. So if you start with a certain amount of clay, mm -hmm. and then you just guess at it, you might end up with not enough for the head. Yeah. So if you split it into four first, it helps you gauge it. Good. Okay. So you taking some away? 
that was just on the legs. I just took okay. a tiny bit off the legs. Okay. okay, so for the arms, same thing as we start started for the legs is roll a ball, mm -hmm. and again we're going to roll out. Now because you're rolling with a ball, oh, I can feel a sneeze coming on. It's hay fever's terrible oh. today. Bless you. <coughs> oh dear. Okay. I know Matt's suffering. Yes. Right, I don't suffer too bad, but I have a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so. What we're doing here is, uh, because we've started with a ball of clay, uh -huh. if you keep the pressure quite even as you roll that out, you'll naturally end up with a rounded pause mm. without having to do anything to them. Ah. Okay. So again, because he's a polar bear and he's going to be cute, we don't want him too thin, we like him quite cuddly and chunky, so I'm mm -hmm. going to do the same thing again. Snip in half by bending and you can gauge the length of the arms. Now I know Mine are going to be far too long, and I'm just going to sit that just so you can see. That doesn't look very bare like, does it? His arms are just mm, far too okay. long. Yeah. So we can snip down again on the angle to the appropriate size. So you gauge yours with the size of your bear. Yeah. And take away what you don't need. Okay. Ooh. So then, uh, how are you putting them on? Okay. And then I'm going to attach the arms. So now, obviously, these are going to go higher up. Yeah. So now he's got his arms on. We can position the arms. He could be throwing a snowball or he could be uh, holding hands with his wife or oh. you know, want to make a mummy one as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know what yours has been doing. I think he's been painting the igloo. Do you know what my bear looks like? So my parents got white cat and uh, I remember, uh, I think my dad got my mum some lilies and the cat, oh, you know, you know yes. the stamen, yep. she was covered in yellow. So, oh, no. All right, let's have a look at what people are saying on there. So Rosemary's saying, uh, what do polar bears eat for lunch? What do polar bears eat? You can work this out. Ice lollies. Close. Ice what? Ice. Ice. Cubes. Bur Icebergers. Icebergs. <laughs> uh, or burgers, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, Rashmi liked that one as well. Oh, Rashmi's watching the India. Oh, hello. I oh, love it. Hello. I love the fact that we got viewers across the globe, so everybody's That's more great. than welcome. Hello to you, Rashmi. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Okay, so we've got the arms on. Yeah. Any spare, just pop to one side, because you're going to need that for a little tail and a pair of ears. And mm. then we go to the final piece and make the head. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, give it a little bit of a stretch. Yeah. Get the moisture going in it. I can tell already how quickly this is drying out because I can feel it going more rubbery. Oh, okay. I don't know if you'll notice with yours. Mm. Now then. Now I've got a question for you. How do you get uh, flesh tones, please? And that's from Tracy. Oh, right. Now there's different ways you can do it. I would add colour into the white clay. Uh -huh. My favourite way of doing it is with gel food colouring. Oh. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Good tip. Um, you can also use, of course, the pre-coloured hearty clay, but it's getting the colour combination right. It's not that easy to, to get a really nice colour. Yeah. But you can, if you practice and you get the combination mm -hmm. right, then that's fine. Ink as well. You can yeah. use your oxides or distress ink if you've mm -hmm. got something that's going to be the right sort of colour. Um, anything really that's water-based, apart from acrylic paint, don't put acrylic paint into it because it, it, it reacts with the with the clay. And don't use alcohol inks because it dries the clay out. Okay. So yeah, there's lots of things you could use. I use um, intense inks, pigment inks that's as good. well. Okay. So that works very, so very any well. Any questions, keep them going in. Yep. Uh, Leslie's saying, looks like fun. Hello from New Jersey uh, <laughs> in the US of A. Hello, oh, love hello. New Jersey. Very cool. Yes, love that's to see fab. You. That's fab. Listen, I have to say, one of my favourite things about being a presenter here at Hochandra is the fact that we have got uh, viewers, and you're all part of the Hochandra family, across the globe. So uh, you're all more than welcome. Yes, okay, you we'll certainly continue. are. Right, ahead. okay. So... We've got the legs on, we've got yeah. the arms on, now it's the head. Okay. Now because I'm doing a polar bear or mm -hmm. a snowy bear, I'm going to do his snout a little bit different oh, to the way okay. I normally do. I've got a little cute bear here that's been made in air dry that's clay. That's very cute. That was free, free formed. Uh, and I'm doing the face totally different. Oh, it's got a little oh, bit dirty because he went to the NEC with me it's and he's got a little cute. bit dirty. Now, he's Catherine, got, he's got, got a dirty nose look. Got an opportunity here <laughs> to ask a question that I get, I've got, uh, a few people have asked me, so is this true? The, uh, so have you seen the film Titanic? Yes. Because there are rumours, and you can squash these, that you actually free-formed a Charlie Hopkins in the pose of uh, what's name that's, in Titanic. That's true. Is that's that true? true. Was yeah. he wearing that jewel of the ocean? Yes. Anything else? Okay, good to know. Let's carry on. 
We've got to see that. It's going to be in the presenter room, just Charlie laid out. Did, did yeah. you remember Charlie got eaten by a shark, don't you, when I free-formed Charlie and Clay? Mm. Did he get eaten by a shark? Have you not no. seen no. that? No. Oh, all right, I'm going to be catching You're up not on that. Oh, you need to catch up on yeah. that. Right, OK, now then. Ideally, we needed a full cocktail sticky, okay. but I'm afraid we've got to share one. Measly, OK. So we're going to use this by poor Mr Bear. We're going to just stick that where his neck is. OK, right. so don't go... We need some sticking up. It's just to stabilise his head. Yeah, OK. OK, so we don't want to stick it in totally. No, OK. And with our clay for the head, I want you to take away... Ooh, I tend to work in vegetables and sweets okay. and things. So <laughs> let's say a marrowfat pea. OK. Take that away. I like the fact that you quantified it with the <laughs> marrowfat pea. Could have <laughs> just said pea, but no. Yeah, but it okay. could be a garden pea and it could be a All petit right. pois. Hmm? You see? Okay. That comes later, the petit pois. The petit pois. Yeah. OK, now then, okay. we're going to roll the main bit into a bowl so it's mm -hmm. nice and smooth. Yeah. And we're going to gauge it first. Now, by gauging it, what I tend to do is stick it onto that stick and look at it and see if I think it looks... I was going to say in proportion, but because it's a whimsical character, I like the heads to be quite oversized, like yeah. so I don't want it to look too small. To me, that's fine. Okay. Because we split into four pieces, it yeah. usually works. So, so like yeah. Ma McNamara proportions? Yes. Yeah, okay. There you go. What does that mean? Oh, that. Matt. No, that's that's literally like Matt McNamara. Oh, his head's too big for his body? No, he's just a very clever boy. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so I'll pop that on. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Good. Let's have a look. Happy. Mm, I'm going to ask you to put a little bit more bit clay more on the head. Yours. I'm going to tell you to put that onto, onto there, that. and we'll use one of your spare bits for his snout. It's not got a big enough head. I just think he wants a bigger head. Okay. okay. You prefer your characters to have bigger heads. I do. Right. I don't give some character. It makes yeah, them look okay. cute. We can do that. We can do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. There we go. Now, if your clay does start to get a little bit dry and you can see lots of cracks on the surface, a bit like Yanis's, yeah. you can add some water to Wait, it. Let me just turn that around. <laughs> Look, there's my bear. There we go. He's, he's right, he has I'm, got big feet. I'm kind of happy. He's right, like me. That's good. I've got, okay. I've got big feet. Okay, that's okay. all right then. So now pick up one of those spare bits. Yeah. Okay, and you want to make his snout. Now, you may not need it all. So yeah. what we'll start, if you think start it's too less big. Than that, right? You can sort of gauge it, and if you think you need some more, you can add on. If okay. you think you want to lose some, you can take it away. Okay. So Just we'll like start with a ball, a nice smooth ball. Yeah. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, put that ball of clay into your hand, and mm -hmm. with one finger on one side of it, just give it a little oh, okay. roll backwards and forwards. So you're kind of making that that pear shape again, but we're going to flatten the end of it a little bit more. Oh, okay. we've done this. Just, just giving it a little bit of shape. Just having a look. Um, Shirley has just joined as well, saying hi, guys. Hi, hi Shirley. Okay. It's going to look a little bit like a beak to start with. But okay, we're yeah, I've, got, that. I've kind of got that okay. there. <laughs> right, so That's now. Very beaky. We want this kind of in the lower half of the face. All right. And then you can start to, when you've placed it in, then where the point of it is, just kind of press in the point a little bit. It will help shape and adhere to the actual head. So we're giving him kind of a longer snout because yeah. he's more polar bearish than teddy bearish. Happy. That's really good. Thank you. That's really good. I'm going to show you my little bear. Okay. There he is. <laughs> oh, wait, there you go. Right, now then, now okay. we're going to have some fun. It looks a little bit like a duck at this point, but mm -hmm. that's fine. Mm -hmm. So we've still got some spare. Yeah. We're going to make two petit pois now. Petit pois, yes. okay. Yes. So little peas. Very little peas. Two little peas. Okay. So if you make them both, Mm -hmm. Try and get them more or less the same size. All right. Okay, we're not we're not looking for perfection. We're just uh, it's just a bit of fun, but it's just to get the technique and sort of the sequence of how to put things together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Now uh, we've got to come up with names for the bears. So if we could, I tell you, we'll throw this out. Name for Catherine's bear and name for my bear. So let's see what you're saying on Facebook Live. Uh, Helen's saying this is good TV. Very funny. <laughs> exactly what I needed this Friday afternoon. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying uh, it, Helen. That's thank good. you, Helen. Yay. Right, now then, I'm going to do mine because I'm going to use that rounded end of a paintbrush. Okay. I do improvise with tools whenever I can. We have right. got an embossing tool, which you could use, but actually this is a little bit bigger. Mm. So what I'm doing is indent, I'm putting indentations yeah. into those. There he is. Ah. Okay. So just don't press so you come through the other side. You just want to put a little little mark mm, in there. Like that, then. That's good. That will help shape it. 
Lovely. Yay. Okay. Do the other one. So, oh, just oh my god. So I tell you, this this demo lock is not as easy as it looks, eh? Okay. <laughs> I could say something about your bear, but I might save it till the end, and I might okay. get into trouble if I say it. Actually. <laughs> oh, what are you going to say? You can whisper. Well, look it to at me. the colour of him. Oh, he's a mucky You know bear. what they say about yellow snow, don't you? Yeah, there's a golden rule. I My think bear, somebody's no been a bit naughty to that bear. Poor bear. Doing something to him that they shouldn't have well, done. Well, maybe. There we go. It's a, it's a whole, different, whole different video there. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, so let's spot the ears. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to borrow that again. Yeah. And we're going to apply these to the top of the head. Actually, before I do that, mm -hmm. this is important because I've done lots okay. of workshops making different animals. And the bear is one of the things we, st we often start with mm. because it helps you shape many other animals as well yeah. once you get, get the sequence right. But if you think about the ears on a bear, you've got to get them in the right position or it won't look like a bear at uh, all. Okay. So if they're too big and too high up, yeah. it tends to look more like a mouse. Yeah. Okay. If they're quite big and right at the side, it's going to be a monkey. Okay. So you kind of want them in, in between. between and not overly sized, okay. not overly big. Oh. So I'm going to use the end of the paintbrush, or you could use your um, embossing tool, just to press the clay onto the side of the head. Now, polar bears don't have particularly big ears. Yeah. So I know it's a snow bear, just in case it doesn't look anything like a polar bear, but we're still sort of aiming at the smaller ears. Okay, so... We just apply those in place, so now we have very good. That's the perfect placement, Yanis. Well Thank done. Thank you. That is brilliant. I'm happy. Good stuff. Right. Uh, <laughs> everyone, oh, so yours looks like, I remember more, Rosemary. Uh, sorry, it's the nose. Um, there we go. Yeah, I, I remember more. That's, I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, and uh, Shirley's saying, I was thinking the same thing, Rosemary. Yanis, uh, yours could be called Peewee. Because of what you're saying, yes, I think. That's there a we good go. <laughs> pee wee. Pee wee. Not pee pee. Try, not pee pee. Pee wee. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Now, this is where it could go horribly wrong. Yeah. Because we're going to put eyes on our bear. Now, what I don't like when I make characters is just to stick balls of clay on the outer yeah. of the face because it looks like the eyes are bulging out. Okay. I like to set them back. Yeah. Oh, so you're going to indent in. We are. Ah, so okay. use the larger end of the ball tool. Yeah. And I'm going to go just That's above the snout. Now, a good tip is use just a smaller end first yep. to mark two placement markings. And if you look, think that looks okay, then you uh -huh. can go in with a larger tool. And you're probably going to make these holes bigger than what you'd oh, imagine. Okay. So I'm just kind of wiggling the tool around to open out those eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you've got a slightly larger ball tool, then that helps because you can just go in and not wiggle it, but we've we've kind of got a medium size. Now, my bear's looking a little bit cross at the minute. We're going to really bring the character out. Mm, I don't know if I've placed that right. Let's have a look. That's okay, uh, that's okay. Right, now then, because... Okay. We only had the one cocktail stick yeah. between us and we've used it. I've just got a tiny bit here and I'm actually going to use this. We might have to share this very expensive tool, Yanis. Go on. We have to look yeah, after this because okay. they cost so much money to buy. We've only got a limited okay. budget, budget yes. for Facebook Live. So first of all, we're going to put the eyes into those holes. So uh -huh. look at the size of the hole. Yeah. In fact, look at the tool that you've used to yeah. make the hole. Uh -huh. So if you try and make little balls of clay that size. to fit inside, that's what you're looking for. You don't want them to be bulging out. So I tend yeah. to roll the clay out into a bit of a string and use the cocktail stick or a small tool just to break bits off. And you can also use that tool for placing. So I'm going to pop the two little eyeballs directly into those holes. If they're not big enough, you can always put another layer on top. If they're too big, try not to press them in, take them out and make them a bit smaller. Okay. So we'll just turn him round. Now he hasn't got all his features on yet, so he still looks a bit strange at this point. But sure. he's coming together. Is that okay? That's okay. Yep, yeah. that's not sticking out too far. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying. I've got my concentrating <laughs> face up. Okay, bear with. Oh, I'm going to take a little bit off there. Am I holding up proceedings? No, no, you're all right. You're mm -hmm. okay. These are great, you know, you can sit these on baubles if you want to shape them as you make them. Set your bauble in a bit of uh, 
in a cup or something that's going to hold it in position and yeah. build the bear to the shape of the bauble ah, and good. let it dry like that then glue it on properly yeah. but you can form its legs to the shape of the bauble okay and hang them up lovely nice. okay so what's he missing is missing his nose we want a nice black nose on the top of his snout yeah so a round ball mm -hmm. an oval shape it's in tight whoops oh, it bounces hands, you know hey, good it hands bounces. Yeah. now if the clay's gone a little bit dry on the surface and it's not sticking just moisten it yeah or if you're going to use glue How go with the tiniest it? bit of glue just a little bit of water okay a little bit of water if you're going to use glue the tiniest tiniest bit okay and it changes him completely when he gets his nose on Oh, I'm going to turn this around for a second. I have got some glue if you need it. Okay, no, I'll be okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, you know what I'm like. I have to have rosy cheeks on things. We have to have the white of the eye, the little uh, highlight in the eye. We have to have all those things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll so we're going to do that next and add yeah. some final features. Okay. And one of the things that I do is put markings above the eyes. Mm -hmm. Imagine eyebrows where they would be and they kind of look like eyebrows but I just think it gives the expression and this is very important and I'm kind of hoping you're going to do it a certain way just okay. to see the character of your bear. Oh, right, okay. Okay. If you put the mm -hmm. markings that pointing way, in a B kind of, yeah. upwards it kind of looks quite friendly, surprised, mm. perplexed Depending well, on the height bear. of he's them. Definitely a friendly bear. Okay. If you go down in the centre, so the V's pointing downwards, it's going to look really cross. Yeah. No, I've got a friendly bear. One one way, one the other, okay. it's going to look very confused. Okay. Yeah. So it depends it depends on the uh, expression you want of your bear. So we need to put those little markings in. Now I've got a tool oh. here which is similar to a Dresden tool which I'm going to use. By the way, just got some lovely comments here. So Francois saying, look, it's like an official, uh, uh, unofficial craft along. <laughs> Great to watch you both. Bernie and Boris Bears, like Bernie that. Bernie and Boris, Bernie that's and nice. Bernie and Boris, hugs from uh, Francoise. Thank you so much, Francoise. Uh, oh, Brig, is that Francoise, Francoise? It's, I don't think it is, no. Uh, Briggs saying, laying in my hammock in the garden, having a good day. You two just make it great. Oh, I think, <laughs> now, I think is that Brig and Dave yes. who sung the song? Yes. Can I say Brig? I felt terrible because I had to do a link and it was linking into the video of you. <laughs> and um, I remember saying before, because I, I want to do a lovely introduction and I was told I had a minute to uh, do the introduction to your video and suddenly that minute turned into like 20 seconds and I was told okay five four and I had to link to your video and in the end I called you guys <laughs> Chaz and Dave I felt terrible <laughs> afterwards so I'm so sorry for that that's um, true yeah uh, oh per um, Percival and Portia that's great Porsche. names a Porsche Porsche, maybe, okay. Uh, and great job, oh, thank you, Rosemary, saying great job, Yanis. That's very sweet. He is looking great. Mm, He's looking okay. great. So, I've got this little tool. You could use the blade of a craft knife. You could use a cocktail stick. Uh, you can use whatever you want. Now, I'm yep. going to keep mine as I normally do it, and I'm just going to press the tool in above the two little eyes. So, I'm kind of pointing up in a V in the centre. Mm. So, that's given him an expression, ah. okay? Oh, that's cute. It changes depending on the height you put them. Mine tend to look quite surprised because I do them quite high That's up. Cute. He looks quite sad actually because he hasn't got a smiley mouth. Oh, he does look quite sad. Okay. okay That's looking really, yeah. really good. Thank you. Okay. So, a couple more things we can do. Yeah. If you want a belly button, you can have one. Oh, he's definitely Let's give a him belly a belly button. button. So, just use button. the large end of your embossing tool. Yeah. They do look quite polar bearish, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I'm happy These with bears. Okay, and then if you want a little mouth, you can do it. So I'm just going to use that embossing tool again and press it in the clay in his snout below his nose. So it's just kind of going, ooh. Oh, oh, that's cute. Okay, let's see. He looks even sadder now. <laughs> well, I'm just going to try and give him a little smile. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. And then I normally use a real blusher, but it's somewhere in one of my many boxes and I can't find it. So I've got a little bit of um, oxide here. This is warm lipstick. And I could have probably done with a slightly smaller brush, but I'm just going to dust a little bit of pink mm -hmm. onto his snout. 
you could go on the actual cheeks at the side of the snout but I think onto the snout looks quite nice it oh, just okay. kind of warms up the face oh, that's cute. makes it look quite friendly okay Bit. Lovely. Okay. Nice. That's looking really good. Mm -hmm. And then finally, yeah. Finally, I'm so fun. glad I've got a little bit of a cocktail stick left. He's looking uh -huh. really good, isn't hey, he? Well David, done. Uh, thank you so much for your comment, David. Saying, uh, didn't know about that. Didn't know our song had been played. It had, David. No, we played ah, it. So yes. I think it was when um, you guys were, was, were they at a show or? Uh, I think so. I think it was at the NEC. But yeah, we played it live to everybody. And can I just say, on a personal note, I thought your song was fantastic. You guys did a really good job. Okay. It was. Now I've got some just some white paint here, and I'm yeah. using the point of a cocktail stick. This is where you just put that little oh, this glint them to life, yeah. in the eye. So two little dots in the eye, and I tend to just. Oh brush across the nose for a bit of a shine Thank you. on the nose and that really oh now he looks really sad what's happened to your bear doesn't he what's it makes me want to cry him? looking at him oh i think he needs a nice warm scarf on i think that's what the problem is he is a snow bear but he's feeling really cold just a little bit cold okay or maybe he's the bear that's been naughty with your bear yeah, well, and made him yellow, oh, and he's okay. had a telling off. Maybe, very naughty. So he's in trouble. Because my my poor bear, my bear's a very good bear. You're a very naughty bear. <laughs> <laughs> Your bear looks a lot happier than mine. Oh, now what you can yeah, do, <laughs> and I, you know, if you want to tilt the head a little bit, I never like them straight. I like to tilt the heads a oh. little bit because it makes them look a little bit more. I oh, like when dogs do it. You know the, yeah. the puppies. Oh, mine looks really forlorn. But, you know, oh, I'm quite happy so with that. Sad you're right there, it though, does look it? very sad. Now you oh. could add little pads to the feet, little uh -huh. bits of colour in the ears as well. But actually, these are snow bears, so they want to stay mainly white. Should we put them side by side? Let's put them side by, and we'll see how white mine is against yours. Look what your naughty bear's <laughs> done to my bear. Look at that. Oh, I think they're very cute. My bear looks like it's just it's just had a feed, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Your, look at your bear. That's the difference between a professional and a presenter. Look. Oh. oh I wouldn't go. call it professional in, in this. But do you know what? You can put these together quite quickly. And it's, it's a bit of fun. It's not yeah. having to. I try and keep it as simple as possible so everybody can achieve something and have a bit of fun along and the way. And they've got a little friend there as well. Let's see if we've got yeah. any comments. Um, I haven't heard the other two, David. Uh, tell you what, David, I've got a Hochanda Facebook page. If you could maybe link it onto there, I'd love to see your other two songs and we'll share it to everyone. Um, was that the first, second, uh, or the new Ho 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 song? I didn't realise, Brig, there were, there were more songs here. Victoria's saying, Yanis, your bear looks like he's had a few too many. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> May maybe. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Catherine, thank you so much. You're welcome. Really enjoyed it. I really hope you've enjoyed it as well. This is something we're going to try and do more of. Now, Catherine and myself are going to be together live at Hochanda at four. Yes. Doing some more free farming? Doing some more free farming. Yeah, I can't wait. Yes. So please tune in. We're going to have a giggle. So please tune in at four if you're free. And then at six, we've got a very special, uh, one day special launch, which is going to be? Anna Griffin, festive oh. version as well. Mm, lots it's gonna of goodies. Be good. Really, it's gonna, gonna be really good. good. Thank you so much for keeping this company. Look, this is the whole point of Ho Chanda. We are the home of crafts, hobbies, and arts, and we place so much value on the demos. So, and we've got some fantastic guests and presenters, such as Catherine. I have to say, Catherine, and we were talking about this before, but I'm going to tell everyone now because Facebook Live, I can. I think you've been such a fantastic addition. Now, oh, I consider you a friend, and we we do chat in uh, the green room, we but. Do. When, and it's so funny because before you joined the presenting team, I remember working with you and I thought you're, you'd make a great presenter and you have been. Oh, I think you're you. absolutely fantastic addition. Well, I do love it, Yanis, and yeah. I love everybody here and I hope it shows because it is genuine. It does. You've always got a smile on your face and I hope we're putting smiles on your faces as well. Just going to quickly check the comments. Uh, oh, thank you, Joy, saying they're gorgeous. Oh, that's very nice of you, uh, Shirley, saying that uh, they're, they're well done, Yanis. Thank you so much for that. Let me bring this over here. Uh, call them patchy and chalky. I oh. like that from Rosemary. And uh, sent David, make sure to send me those videos. I'd like to see them. And are oh, they unbearably cute, oh, says Leslie. I like what you did there, good. Leslie. And uh, who else? Uh, shared, brilliant. And David say, will do, Yanis. Uh, great effort, lovely show. Thank you all Thank so, you. so, so much. So, have myself, a go. Have huh? a go. Yeah, definitely. Have some fun. Catherine and myself will be back at four, so do make sure to tune in. Thank you, Catherine. Thank Education. you. Education. Thank and you. Well done. <laughs> Thank you.